Now let's move over to the weather board. Here's Keith with a summary of today's weather. Okay, thank you, Ralph. Good morning, everybody. And let's look forward to a weekend that hopefully will, rain will be out of the way at least by tomorrow. We have about a 50% chance for thunder showers today. That will decrease to 30% tonight and increase again tomorrow to about 50% as a cold front approaches the West Tennessee. Should be moving right into Memphis this time tomorrow morning. The low pressure system associated that will go to the north. And uh, for that reason, most of the heavier stuff will be up to the north, up through Kentucky, Indiana, uh, Ohio, that uh, direction. But uh, we are due to get some showers and thunder showers as this cold front approaches and uh, moves on through. Uh, once it gets over Tennessee, anything could happen with this high pressure ridge still off the east coast could stall over us. And that would mean showers and thunder showers for the next four or five days. So for right now, that's uh, about the way our forecast is going to read. We're going to have a chance at least for showers and thunder showers for the next four or five days. This morning, we have quite a bit of rain in association with that system uh, back through Missouri, up through Illinois, back through Iowa and to South Dakota. Eight inches of rain yesterday in some parts of southeastern South Dakota. There were tornadoes yesterday scattered from South Dakota all the way down to Texas, over through Illinois. There were eight reported in uh, Iowa and down in Fort Sills, Oklahoma, just as a tornado hit town, winds were gusting up to 82 miles per hour. So I imagine it was kind of hard to tell whether you were hit by the tornado or not with those kind of winds. A few scattered showers this morning along the east coast. That's about it as far as our national map is concerned. Around the state this morning, 59 degrees in Knoxville. Dense fog has formed over much of middle, or rather eastern Tennessee. 58 degrees and zero visibility in Crossville. Quarter mile visibility in Chattanooga. They have 59 degrees, 61 in Huntsville, 71 in Memphis, 64 here in Nashville, 79 was our high yesterday. Let's take a look now at Weatherbank. Check some more temperatures around the mid-state. Bowling Green has 64, Clarksville has 60, Columbia 57, Cookville 63, 60 in Dixon, Gallatin 64. In Jackson at 64, McMinnville has 56, 62 in Murfreesboro, 59 in Shelbyville, Tullahoma has 60, and Waverly 61. Looking at the radar, we're scanning in a 160-mile radius. No precipitation indicated, 65 degrees here on the hill at WSMV. 64 officially at the airport, 97% relative humidity. Barometer at 29.99, southeast winds at 6, 8 mile visibility. We had 41 hundredths of an inch of rain yesterday morning, almost a half inch, 3.34 is our total now for the month. Sunrise at 537, sunset at 750. And here's the forecast for today. Partly cloudy, a 50% chance for thunder showers, a high of 82, southwest winds at 10. Then for tonight, chance for thunder showers decreasing to about 30%, a low of 65, south winds at 5. Then tomorrow, as that fr uh, cold front gets even closer, partly cloudy, 50% chance for thunder showers again, a high of 83, a low of 62, southwest winds at 10. Extended outlook calling for partly cloudy right on through Tuesday. We're going to throw in a chance for thunder showers each day. 80 the high on Sunday, back up to 86 by Monday, and 88 by Tuesday. Low temperatures starting at 60 on Sunday and being in the mid-60s by Tuesday. Have a nice weekend. Uh, remember to take your umbrella along. You may need it before the day is over. And that's going to hold right on through tomorrow, I'm afraid.